as a child, as I learned to differentiate the kind of motor movements of my mouth, I can feel the the gestures of my face that are involved in articulating a certain sound. I get feedback about it as I'm doing it. I can hear, after you've said something many times, the carrier wave or affect on one level of the meaning, how you're feeling about it on one level of the meaning. At the same time, I'm hearing, um, the, I'm differentiating the way that the sounds in the word, you know, con it's constructed from. So there's a lot going on, and it's all kind of synchronized. So your 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 your, your face, your anterior face, and your tongue, and your and, and your throat, are becoming incredibly specialized as you speak. And and people tend to think about it. And they say, well, I'm speaking, and as I'm speaking, I'm listening to myself. In some sense, I'm correcting what I. Well, just paralyze the sensations from your face and try to talk. You know, you go to hell. You can't talk very clearly, right? And the reason you can't is because you have all of this unknown contribution and feedback to doing all of that production that you're not aware of. You're getting lots of feedback that's not listening at all. And in fact, it's pretty crucial to you being able to, to make all of that sound roll out.